but I thought I'd just make one up today with a sort of Bob Ross type mountain type scene in my head. So first I'm just giving the paper a good soaking just to lubricate it so everything is nice and soft. This is just raw sienna just whacking it straight on. No real uh, shape to it. And then I'm going to go ultramarine, maybe a touch of Payne's grey, ultramarine and then just brush that across, something like that, all the way down to the bottom. Don't do it nice and uniform, leave gaps and bits and pieces. And then where the paint's coming down, just pull it across. Or you can go in with a, with a tissue, mix some clouds as well if it's uh, going crazy. Just a few little clouds like that, just nice and random. But don't take it all out, leave some of the paint still on there. And I'm going to go into the same colours again and then let's have a mountain right up something like that and then let's have a bigger one up there a bit of raw sienna change the colour slightly and again and, um, just sec soaking up that uh, water that's accumulating at the bottom of the paper. <coughs> I'm going to clean the brush. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to take off some of the colour there, just lighten that a bit. So I want to put a tree line there and I want to be able to see the profile of the trees. So I'm going to go Payne's Grey, in fact all the same colours again but this time with a bit of lemon yellow in it. Nice and dark. And just, just flicking up, using the corner of the brush like that and then we just get some nice trees. Have some big ones over there and then let's sort of work the way across to the right and get smaller and smaller. A bit bigger on this side. Smaller and smaller on the right so they get further and further away. <coughs> All I'm doing, you're going to need enough water on the brush to hold the uh, hairs together. And then once you've got that chisel edge, just flick it up like that. Smaller and smaller, so we go right off into the distance. And then, if you want to get a, don't worry too much if you're uh, the bottom's all over the place. All you got to do, take any bit of colour, and then you can just sort of go sideways and straighten it all out again. See how the paper is stretched, it's coming away from the from the board now look. So I'm just gonna unclip it and pull it tight and refix it on the right hand side and then we're good to go again. I'm just gonna put a just put like a Pop the banks in there, nice and dark. <coughs> Just like the muddy banks. Something like that. Next I'm going to put a big tree here I think, so I'm going to dark mix, I'm just going to go 
Put them like that. And then you're going to need a fair bit of water this time. And then just using the corner of the brush, just go from side to side. And just pop the uh, pop the leaves on it. Something like that. And then next to that one, we have a nice random leaf, so airs are all over the place now. I'm going light red, ultramarine, not too much water, and then just take that and just sweep it straight across. There's our little path. Now another tree I think on this side, so I'm going to go raw sienna, lemon yellow, Payne's grey. Just mix them all up and then just use the corner of the brush. Pack it in nice and dark. Maybe get the rigger, then your water, give it a twist, come to a point, and then just little twigs and stuff coming out of it Again, get your fingernails in there and give it a scrape back in with the rigger and then if you want to put leaves or something on the ends of those twigs clean the brush scuff it up and then just just lightly into the green colours and then just very lightly, just pop the leaves on the end. Take that right up to the top, I think. Dip in the edges in, bring the airs back together, just dip the tips into the water. Airs back together. And let's just put some something down here. Again, dip the edges in just to bring the airs back together and then get that chisel edge back again and you can go into the uh, back to the straight edge let's get those uh, muddy bits back in this section Wondering how I'm going to do with the water because I haven't put any reflections or nothing in ever. Um, tell you what, let's do the water now. I'll go for the quick sweep dry brush method. Or I could put the reflect, I could re wet it and put the reflections in, but I'll just go with the, the dry one, I think. So I'm going to, I've got it pretty fairly dry. I'm just going to go into the sky colours. Fairly dark. And then just give it a quick sweep across. I'm just going to have to redefine those edges again. That'll do. 
Keep the tips back in, bring the ears back together. Chisel edge, nice and dark. I think before I do that, I'll just give it a quick dry. <coughs> paint's dry so I can get a nice dark chisel edge on this brush and I can just retouch it up again where those uh, where those corners are not corners the, the muddy bank bits you know what I mean You can just swear it helps define the difference between the land and the uh, water. Um, need some of down this, they've got the path walking along. I'm giving along the bottom, so just a few uh, little, few little things there on the edge of the edge of the water. You get a light red as well, just to vary it a bit. Just go in there with the tissue, that's good. Make that slightly too dark. Go in with your rigger brush, pick up a few reeds and twigs and stuff, things growing in the water's edge. Probably got a little bit over the top but again yeah. need a few leaves on the end of those little twigs so I'm just gonna then clean the brush, scuff it up and just go into your Whatever colour you want, basically. And just lightly, just pop in those little leaves and stuff. A bit of light red just to colour, make it a bit more colourful. Some down in this corner as well. Little figure, I think, walking off into the distance. Back with the rigger. We've got a little, how big should we make him? Little lead. Let's have a closer look at it. This is the finished painting, so let's have a quick look at it. You can see, as always, I put the, the mount in, as do any of the distant objects. Put them in the same colour of the sky, that way they blend in and get out of recession. Um, 
you can see why I took out with the tissue the bottom bits just so that these trees would stand out much better when I painted them in. I didn't put any reflections in the water, I just painted the water the same colour as the sky and then using this sort of dryish brush you get the uh, where the paint breaks it just looks like ripples as the uh, river flows down the mountain side. A few scrapes of the fingernails helps create these uh, branches and trunks and a bit of dry brushwork at the top with the finer leaves. Got a little figure there just uh, out adding a bit of life to the thing walking along a path which sweeps right into the foreground. Just broken it up here with some uh, rocks just quick scrape with a knife or you choose a plastic card or whatever you've got handy. Well thanks for watching any questions please ask keep practicing and I'll see you again soon.